this is a show that has embraced kind of that side of things. Like the, the Twitter account for the writer's room and everything else is very fan oriented. Is it fun to kind of come in and be almost a point of view character for a fan base that you know is kind of crazy rabid? Uh, yes, because I myself in real life am a huge fan. Like, Constantine's my favorite. He's my spirit animal. That's what I tell people. Um, so it's great playing a character that I can relate to that way, where she's such a huge fan of magical creatures. And in real life, being a fan of the show and um, tweeting and Instagramming along with viewers. Yeah. Are we going to have something between Mona and Gary? Looks that way. Like something... Romantic? Romantic. Uh, I don't even know, but Mona is a very... Rom she has a very romantic, hopeless romantic personality. So, anything's possible. Oh, is she fitting into her new role at the Time Bureau, her new job there? She gets more and more involved as the time progresses, um, and it takes some pretty major turns, and I can't wait for you guys to find out in the future how, how that takes place. Had you been a fan of this show before getting cast? Um, I am a fan of like all superhero kind of a thing just because of how it empowers people and how it empowers viewers. Um, so yeah. Speaking of empowerment, you're actually one of the first major Asian faces we've seen in the Arrowverse. And is that something that you, they were consciously doing, trying to add more diversity to the cast, or was it just work for the character? I actually have no idea how the casting process worked. I just um, did my best on my audition and somehow made it here and I still can't believe it, but yeah, I have no idea how the casting process worked. But I'm happy to be here. <laughs> happy to represent. <laughs> have you got any feedback from fans on that note or? Uh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Um, some people have said the same thing, like, oh, you're like the first Asian in the Legends of Tomorrow world, and super proud of that, yeah. Can, can you preview at all about what this character is going to be like once the other, once she starts, she starts spending more time around the other Legends? She... Uh, well, speaking of empowerment, I'd say she definitely begins to feel more comfortable in her own skin. No, you see, um, Nora turned herself in at the end of next week's episode. Yeah. Did we get to see some interaction um, between these two characters? Well, Mona is responsible for taking care of magical creatures that are in the Time Bureau, and obviously Nora is one of those captives, one of those beings in there, so kind of speaks for itself, I hope. <laughs> when your character was first announced, she had a different name. Yeah. Was she renamed because your name is Ramona and she's Mona? You know, I kind of think that that was why. I think they just really loved my name, and so they changed the character to Mona, or at least that's what I'm hoping. We know the three creatures from next week's episode um, has an arc as well. So how much action does your character get to see over the next few episodes? How much action yeah. does Mona get to see? She gets very involved in a lot of the action, and she may or may not even start developing feelings for one of the captives, maybe. <laughs> but not Gary. <laughs> um, I mean, Gary's got a shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah, not. he's got to show some effort. Were you uh, on, on that note? Uh, is it is it charming or is it kind of scary that he was able to whip out the tablecloth and be like, "Well, I just happened to order enough for two." As Ramona, I find that super cute. <laughs> <laughs> Tell 
Time Bureau is, is kind of a very buttoned down place with a few exceptions. Yes. Uh, and obviously your character has only interacted with Gary. Uh, does her kind of view of things shift a little bit once she starts interacting with people like Ava and possibly even Tom Wilson's character? Well, the better question would be like, does she shift things for other characters? Because Mona's just very herself and she um, dances to the beat of her own drum. So I think it's more so like interesting to see how she influences other characters. But a lot of deep relationships blossom from their interaction. You mentioned fanfic. So what kind of fanfic was, Mo was Mona writing? Um, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. She's very into um, reading romance novels, mm -hmm. which could be, I guess, fanfic. And reading into uh, stuff that even Lori writes. <laughs> Does she read mixed writing then? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll just say it. Yeah. What's yeah. her What's it? What's her take then on his uh, stories? Huge fan. Oh. Huge fan. Loves it. Yeah. Is she surprised then by the person she meets that's actually doing this writing? I don't yeah. even know if she knows that that's who's written it, but she's a huge fan of them. Would she ever cosplay as one of his characters? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> Are there questions you have about the character of Mona that you'd like to see the show like uh, explore or answer? What I think is really interesting is that uh, the more time I spend with her, the more time I'm learning about Mona too, like through working with the writers and directors. So there's always like new stuff to discover. You had the costume mistress in here earlier saying that you got your first time travel outfit recently and had a good time with it. Can you... Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can say like which time period or like... She told us it was like Jane Austen. Oh, she did? Okay, yeah, it was the best. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a certain time period clothing you would like to try on? I mean, okay, so just like in general, like the fact that I got to do Jane Austen time period is amazing because I'm Asian and I never would have thought that I'd play in anything like that. But in this show, like anything's possible, I guess. So it's very cool. Guys, we have time for one last question. What's the um, the best mystical character that you'll be overseeing in the next week? the episodes you've done so far? Uh, well, I am biased, and I am particularly pardoned to uh, a werewolf, and I think that's very cool, and he looks amazing. Is he a teen werewolf? <laughs> He's a man werewolf. <laughs> Is it Gary? The Gary Wolf? You really like Gary. <laughs>